I had a really hard time adjusting as a child. And looking back, of course, it makes sense to me. Everything makes sense to me. Because that wanderlust gene that I probably carry as an Rh negative, if that's even a proper diagnosis uh, or determination, um, we have in us something that doesn't allow us to accept easily what goes against our nature. And it is very, very strong in Rh negative children because I know there's a celebrity, not an American one, not an international, but from one certain country that has spoken about his uh, first day in school and how, you know, we as intuitive and empathetic people by nature feel as unnatural what many have easily accepted. And when you look at the school system and kindergarten and everything, well, you know, there is a sheep, there's an expectation for you to be a sheep. And it seems that most children easily accept that are willing to be sheep. They are happy to be told or okay with being told what to do, even if it goes against their nature. Um, they accept sort of having these rules um, that are often, you know, when, when I hear about certain rules, it's kind of like you already expect me to be a bad child, you know what I mean? Or like a criminal. It's something against our nature when somebody puts rules on us that basically uh, suggest that we even need these rules. Because I think as empathetic people, we already have a set of rules that's not even rules. It's just our nature... We have a nature that sort of sees what the other people need, not just we need. So when somebody comes in and makes it mandatory for us to act in a certain way, there is this light that goes up, comes on, saying, wait a minute, I don't really need to be told that. I already know that. And it's always a conflict, an inner conflict that comes up where we react in a, an unhappy way towards that because there is an energy involved that, that is, has to do with putting us under a certain label. Now, I often think about how I felt when I was a child because we sort of lose ourselves which uh, we can, you know, in our late teens, sometimes consider a growing process, an adaption process and as a good thing. But in reality, it means that a lot of us gets lost. So when we are in our 30s and we sort of try to figure out what do I really, you know, what should I do right now, then I think it can be helpful to go back towards who we were at the age of five. And I think Rh negative people have a very hard time, uh, children have a very hard time in many cases, but it also depends on the home life. And that's why I've asked before, do you, do any of you have two Rh negative parents? And I have realized those who have uh, two Rh negative parents seem to be more well adjusted than I am or than I was. So it is all about having somebody around who understands you. And when I look at our Irish negative children, yeah, I see a lot of, um, I feel for them. I feel for them because they have to go through a process that I had to go through because I was not considered a well-adjusted child. But when it comes down to it, when I look back, I was a lot better adjusted to who I am when I was five than when I was 20. And I'm now going back to sort of figuring out what is it that went wrong.